Hi, I'm Jay Prasad B, Assistant Professor of Government Engineering College, Kerala. Today, I will discuss about Module Four of RC Division of Structural Elements, that is 18 CV 53. The Module Four is Limb State Division of Staircases and Slabs. Slabs. So let's we we'll discuss about the Division of uh, Staircases. That is introductory part. Introduction. What is staircase? Staircase is an important component of the building, which is the connectivity between the two floors. That means the connection between the two floors in the building. It consists of flights, steps, usually with one or more intermediate landings, maybe in horizontal platform, right between the floors. The horizontal top portion you call it as a right, and the vertical projection you call it as a step. That is step is called it as a riser. These are these two are the very important component in the staircases. The value of the range between the dimension of your thread and the rises may be around 300 mm to 150 mm, ideal for the public buildings. A typical flight steps consists of a two landing and one is going. Generally, rises in a flight should not exceed about 12 in numbers. The step in flight can be designed in a number of ways with waste lab, with the thread riser arrangement, without waste lab also can do this, or isolated thread slabs. So here where you can see this, it's a typical staircase plan and a section. So this is the landing portion. This is the landing portion. These two are the landing portion. So this is the state parts. So in, in plan, you can see only threads. Okay, if you come to section, this is the raised part, a stepwise. This is the raised part. This is the raised part. This is the waste lab. This is the landing portion. And this is the landing portion. If you see these two figures, one is plan and another is section, you can understand the concept of stairs. Yes. So types of stairs depend upon the geometrical configurations. So you can classify it or we can make the stairs depend upon the geometrical configuration. One is tight stairs with or without intermediate landing. Another one is quarter turn stairs, dog legged stairs, open well stairs, spiral stairs, and helicoidal stairs. These are the type of the stairs depend upon the geometrical conditions, how it looks. You just see these figures. See these figures. This is a straight staircase. See, these are the rise and threads. These are the steps and this is the landing portion. Just it is straight. See, quarter turn stairs. Just it's turning here after the landing. Just one fourth of this length, quarter turning. So this is dog legged staircase. This is the landing portion of two flights, right? Seems to be dog legged it is. It's look like a dog legged. And see, we call it as a dog legged staircase. Open the staircase. See, this is the staircase. Landing, steps, landing, and landing staircase. Landing, one second, this is staircase. So this is the open space. It's just like a well. That's what you call it as an open staircase. See, spiral stairs. Spiral stairs it is. Circular, like this. And then helicoidal stairs. See this geometry. So that's what, that depend upon the geometry, you can choose a type the staircase. I think this is the just a general concept of first case. So next we will move to a numerical example. How we are going to design this? Yes. See numerical example. We take design a waste slab type it is dog legged staircase for an office building. Given the following data. See height of floor that is between the floors is three point two meters. Rise is 160 mm, that is 270 mm. With the flight, that is equal to with the flying, it is coming around 1.25 meters. Live load is 5 kN per meter, and floor finish is 0.6 kN per meter. Assume the stair to be supported on 230 mm thick masonry walls at the outer edges of the building, parallel to the rises. That is there in the figure. Use M20 concrete and FU415 steel. Assume mild exposure conditions. So this is the problem. See, this is the solution. 
first word right what is joint tenders rise is given 60 mm thread is given 270 mm so we have to add 22 mm extra for the rise and threads because it's a knock distance right so once you add 270 mm plus 22 plus 22 it will coming around 340 mm 314 mm so now the effect to span that is equal to center to center distance between the support we will get 5.16 meters everything is there in the figure i will show that figure assume the wave slab thickness is that is l by 20 that is 5.16 meter converted into millimeter 5160 divided by 20 is coming around 258 that is round up to 260 mm we are also assuming the 20 mm clear cover it's because of mild exposures and 12 mm dia main bars so therefore effective depth small d what it is giving that is capital d is 260 mm minus 20 mm cover minus dia by 2 we will get around 234 mm the slab thickness in the landing portion is you will take it as a least of very less that is 200 mm because the bending moment relatively very low compared to a flight yes now load calculation now load calculation on the projected plan area that is nothing but your flight areas so self head of the waist slab because we have taken the thickness of the waist slab is 260 mm 25 mm is your density of the concrete multiplied by see this 314 314 we add this 270 plus 22 mm to plus 22 mm for the knock distance divided by once again the thread distance will get 7.56 km per meter square similarly the self head of these steps so steps is the dimension okay width is 0.5 0.16 is the rise and 25 is the density of the concrete it will come around 2 km per meter square and the floor finish it is given 0.6 km per meter square lie load is also given that is 5 km per meter square the total is 15.16 km per meter square so we have to make a factor of this there is therefore factor load that is 15.16 into 1.5 will get 22.74 km per meter square this is the load a maximum load which is coming on the projected area of your plan that is nothing but the flight area next the loading is coming on the landing portion the load is coming on the landing portion so now we will calculate self head of this slab so thickness is we are assuming 200 mm that is 0.2 into 25 is the density of our concrete per meter length or per meter width it is coming around 5 km per meter square and floor finish of course it is given 0.6 km per meter square and also lie load is 5 km per meter square for both landing as well as our flats so therefore total load is coming around 10.60 km per meter square factor load is 10.60 into 1.5 will get 15.90 km per meter square so now we calculated what is the maximum load coming on this ties and what is the maximum load coming on the landing portion are already calculated so this is the analysis next what is the moment what is the moment the moment is given how the moment is coming so reactions i will take 15.90 into this is the land distance plus 22.74 into 2.43 divided by 2 will get around 49.3 kilonewton per meter maximum moment of course it's a mid span ultimate moment will be coming around 69.30 kilonewton per meter per meter length see now mu by bd square that is coming around 1.265 mpa that is newton per mm square we are assuming of course it is given fck is 20 newton per mm square and f is 415 mpa so area of stay that is pt by 100 percent of stay that is called 100 by ast by 100 which is coming around 0.38 1 into 10 to the minus 2 so this is so therefore here of seal required the pt of area multiplied by length length per meter per meter length that is 1000 mm into effective depth 234 mm which is coming around 892 mm square if you are providing a 12 mm dia bars therefore required spacing is it's coming around 127 mm if you are going to provide a 16 mm dia bars right the spacing is coming around 225 mm center to center so hence it is provided we will go for a bigger one 16 mm dia at 270 to sorry 220 mm center to center so now this is the main this is the main reinforcement now it's come for a distribution what is the area required for the distribution steel that is 0.0012 bt that is coming around 312 mm square per meter length 
So by providing a 10 mm dia bars, the spacing is coming around 251 mm. Hence, you can go to provide a 10 mm dia at 250 mm center to center as a distribution bars. Now, if you come to this figure, see this figure. Very neat. This is the plan. This is the plan of the figure. So this is the required distances. What is the flight distance? What is the landing distance? Everything is there. 230 mm, which is uh, on overall edge. It is the wall is there. 230 mm thickness. So this is the bending mode diagram. How it is coming? You just see this. There are bending mode diagrams. What is the middle angle coming? What is the landing portion is coming? Everything is there. By this analyze, we will design the reinforcement. So this is the typical reinforcement details of your stay case. See this figure. So if you refer this, the RC details of your stay case as well as how the bending moment is coming. So you have to make a bending moment diagram in this plan itself. That is very easy to understand. How, how you can calculate the bending moment at the landing and bending moment at the stage. I think this is a sufficient uh, figure to understand the concept of a dog in the staircase. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.